Ladies and gentlemen, we're living through a very exciting time in the world of competition. Many transformations of our general environment have led to proposals for reform. Uh, we have undertaken in Europe a reform of the regime of foreign direct investment, which does have implications for competition in order to try to bring more fairness uh, and realism in our international competition uh, relations. The European Commission has also proposed a DMA, the Digital Market Act, a regulation to try to deal with the gatekeepers, uh, those very large uh, high-tech platforms in the digital world, uh, which are the entry point to reach uh, consumers. Uh, and the associated risk that those digital gatekeepers may abuse their dominant position. The vertical block exemption uh, regulation is also being revised in view of the fact, among other things, that um, distribution channels tend to change. Uh, and now we have much more often a combination of uh, retail shops and digital distribution. And the question is how the relationship between the suppliers and all those retailers should be organized. And also there are new issues that come to the fore. One of them is the issue of the zombie firms. Uh, the zombie firms are firms which are not sustainable, uh, very low productivity, uh, very small profit or large losses in fact. Uh, uh, and they don't generate enough revenues uh, to be able to be sustainable. Yet they have received financial aid in the context of the COVID period. Now this aid is about to uh, stop. How should we look at those firms? Um, what should we do if they are faced with bankruptcy? Is the uh, failing firm defense adequate? All those issues are going to be discussed in the upcoming 12th edition of the New Frontiers of Antitrust Conference organized by Concurrence. And I very much hope that you will tune in uh, to these very interesting debates with highly qualified experts on very timely and relevant issues. So see you there.